Happy New Year! Now this is an easy one, pronunciation-wise. Pronounce all three words loudly and clearly. There are no function words in here. These are all content words. But new is a focus word. It's a little bit louder and longer than the other two words. Happy New Year! You could also say, Happy Year of the Pig! In this one, we have the same content words. We've got happy as a loud and long word. Year is also loud and long. And pig is going to be the loudest and longest word of all three. Happy Year of the Pig! And you'll also notice that the words are connecting here. Year of the Pig. Year of the Pig. And we're shortening of to just sound like a schwa here. year -a. That's a schwa there, an upside down E. Happy Year of the Pig. Are you doing anything special for the holiday? Did you notice how the word special stands out in this question? So that is your focus word, special. And also you'll notice content words. Doing, anything, and holiday are also content words. You want to make sure each of those is pronounced completely. Let's take a look at a little bit of linking here. Are you? We have consonant to consonant linking. Are you? We've got a consonant to vowel linking here. Doing anything? We've got consonant to consonant linking here. We've got some more consonant to consonant linking here. And some more right here. And let's take a look at a little reduction. The word for is going to reduce. It's going to sound like fur. Fur. Instead of for, fur. Because that's not an important word here. We don't need to hear for loudly and clearly. Notice how the end here sounds, for the holiday, for the holiday. You'll notice how the unimportant words, for and the, went by very quickly. And you heard holiday stretched out, for the holiday. And the similar thing is happening at the beginning here. Are you? Are you? And that goes by fairly quickly. But doing anything special and holiday all stand out. Are you doing anything special for the holiday? Are you doing anything special for the holiday? What are you going to do to celebrate? Notice there are a couple of common reductions here. What are you commonly sounds like what are ya? And going to sounds like gonna. So every time you see what are you and going to, you'll know that those are shortened to what are you gonna. And celebrate is our focus word. It's going to stand out louder and longer than anything else in this question. What are you going to do to celebrate? We have a little reduction here. The word to is going to sound like to. So make sure you have your schwa sound in there. It's not to, but ta. What are you going to do to celebrate? And our last sentence. Do you have any holiday plans? Holiday plans can be considered a compound word here. And when we have a compound word, you want to make sure you're stressing the first word a little more than the second one. Let's also take a look at the stress on the word holiday. You'll notice that the first part of that word, hall, is louder and longer than the other parts. The middle is a schwa, and the last part is a secondary stress. Holiday. Holiday. Do you have any holiday plans? And then make sure that you combine have any right here. Here's a little linking for you, consonant to vowel linking. And then do you is going to go by fairly quickly. You might even just draw a line through there because those two words are not very important to hear. 
we want to make sure that we are emphasizing holiday plans and also the word have, since have is your main verb in this sentence. Do you have any holiday plans?